I see a lot of kids selling drugs, people getting shot every day. Personally, myself, my cousin, actually, he was uh, murdered. A couple years ago, he was shot in the head. My brother was attacked two years ago. His neighbors had to call the police and the ambulance so they can rush him to the hospital. We can never go outside. It's just been gunshots every day. d wait appreciate you uh, taking this time to sit down with us, and um, let's get right into it. So from your perspective and people outside of Chicago, can you tell us um, how bad is the violence in Chicago? Well, I mean, obviously a lot of people on the outside, you know, they hear statistics of you know, the multiple people every weekend um, that's killed. Uh, that number tallies up very big to, um, you know, over 700, you know, to be killed. And, and for me, being here, my kids being here, my family being here, uh, it's, it's, in a sense, it's scary, mm -hmm. you know, because you never know. Uh, when I was young, we kind of knew the, era, the areas it was going to be in. Now it's all over the city. So, I mean, we all know there's, obviously, there's a, a gun gang epidemic in Chicago. Yeah. Um, you were affected by this personally, you know, with a, a, a family member. Can you tell us about, can you tell us about what happened? Yeah, so my, my cousin, Nakia, um, you know, uh, rest in peace. You know, she was, um, you know, walking her kids um, in her neighborhood, in the community, and just got caught in the middle of some gun violence. Got caught in the middle of a, of a shooting, and she had nothing to do with it. Kids had nothing to do with it, but they lost their mom. And, you know, you hear about these things on the news, you wake up, you hear about it, but when it affects you, when it hits you, it, you take it a little different, you know? And, and I think for my family, who will be forever affected by this, but the one thing that we've all tried to do is say, you know what, how can we make sure that we help other families that one, has is going through these things, have went through these things, and two, what can we do to try to, you know, to try to start the process of changing the mentality of, of our youth in the community of Chicago. So other families won't feel the heart pain and the heartache that we felt as a family. There are a lot of people you're trying to shed light on a positive situation. A lot of yeah. people doing some good things in this community. Mm -hmm. um, what are some of the things uh, that you and your family are, are doing to help out? The newest program that we have started, a new initiative we started, is called Spotlight On. And the one thing that you know we talked about, you know, especially in Chicago, is you know what? You know, our kids, all they hear, you know, all they're hearing is about is negativity. What's going on? What's this and that? Let's, let's get them to hear and feel what it feels like to be um, celebrated. And what we do is, you know, with the Bulls, we bring the kids to the game. Uh, we shed light on them. We cut the lights off. We shed a spotlight on them in the arena. Uh, we give them that moment. I talk about them on the Jumbotron. I tell everybody, you know, what they're doing, um, the things they do in their communities, the things they want to do in the future. Um, but, you know, right now, um, you know, just shedding a spotlight on them kids, giving them that moment of, you know, where every, what, 20,000 people is cheering for them, is clapping for them, is standing up for them. So Chicagoans are strong and resilient people. Yeah. Um, what, what can Chicagoans do to, uh, to get involved with, with your foundation or activities within their community? The most important thing is that community leaders, uh, parents, um, you know, older siblings, I think everyone has to do this together. And, you know, one thing I try to do, and I'm sure a lot of others try to do with their foundation, um, is uh, come up with a plan and try to put that plan in motion. And if it's carried out by multiple people, by many others, um, then it becomes more effective. Right. You know, if Dwayne Wade is the only one who's trying to carry this out, then, you know, it's gonna phase out. But if the community get behind it, um, if the city of Chicago get behind it, then it becomes something that's a little bit more impactful, a little bit more powerful. I'm definitely trying to live up to it. Uh, my question is, do you see light at the end of the tunnel? Um, I don't know, you know, the tunnel is so, so long. Right. It's hard to see the light. Uh, but the you know, only way you're going to see the light if you continue to push through it. And if you do that, if enough of us push through, if enough of us push through, we may actually see some light. But it's hard to say that right now. You know, it's hard to say you're going to come and make a change right, right now today. I think your focus is on, you know, creating an environment what the future is going to be like, you know, and 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 getting our, and attacking our youth and getting them to to start thinking a different way, to start acting a different way. Um, that's the only way. We how do we how it. do we get them to, to act and, and, and to to act and think a different way. Well, for me, I think the things I've seen and was worked is um, mentorships, um, programming, giving them different things to to think about. You know, putting them in a in a room and and not only talking about it, 
but letting them experience, you know, what it is. I stay away from negativity by surrounding myself with people that has goals, um, people that are positive as well, and staying in books. I'm gonna help my community. I'm gonna make sure that I'm gonna build programs, put money into basketball camps, football camps. My biggest goal right now is to make it into my top college. I wanna to go to University of Southern California. I wanna major in electrical engineering and computer science. I believe that if youth around my age can do the same thing by going to school, getting their education, I believe that the community will be better. Spotlight is the best thing that ever happened to me and my family. We can put them in position to, you know, see their dream because a lot of our kids not seeing it. You know, they hear people talk about it, but they see what they see out their front window every day. And that's what they're going out there doing. It takes a village. That old saying, it takes a village to raise a child. That, that, is, that is so true, and you know, that's why I say I got lucky. You know, I got blessed, I was one that's plucked out. But I also understand that I did get pulled out of there for a reason. I think it's important uh, for our youth to see you know, someone from the city of Chicago, especially, um, that really you know, cares. And I think it's important for all of us to give back. You know, my grandma always told me that when I was young, we didn't have, we didn't have much. But she said, we got more than others. You know why? Because you got a bed to sleep in, we got food on the table. It's people out there that don't have that. So my grandma used to make us go and give back even when we didn't have anything. And I think that's the mentality. You know, we all can give back. We all can do our part. It doesn't have to be all financial. We all can give our time. You know, we all can give certain things to, to make sure that this world that we all are saying, oh my God, it's so bad, it's not. Well, how are you gonna affect it to make it a better place, to make it better? And so we all have that power to give back.